Satnam, Satnam. Let's pull a car for you, Fariba. Satnam ji. Wahi Guru. First come, first serve, eh? How are you? So we're, we're getting uh, through the last rebirthing today. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all of you out there in this mighty um, world. Frank Fool's Crow, the head of the Lakota Nation said, pray for my people, for they are pitiful. And it doesn't mean each and every individual necessarily is pitiful, but yet what has happened to our nations, our ancestors, we must divinely offer this last of the fourth housekeeping, house cleaning, rebirth today to all those suffering, intoxicated by governmental, political issues, which I never go into here. It's all up to our spirit and our soul. So as we pull this divine card, may we un leash that grind in us that goes back to listening to the outside world and come inward and say no thank you not today i'm not participating in that i'm going to go beyond that i'm going to fully let that go and cleanse and i'm going to reverse the thought process of that in which isn't serving me, isn't serving the nation. This is the Lakota nation I'm speaking of, but there's all of us out there praying for each other and for the liberation, unification, evolution of our spirits and our soul. So as we pull this card today, for this last part of this four part series of rebirthing, if you haven't done the first three, you're welcome to go back. They're all posted every Saturday, 9 a.m. We do rebirthing. We'll continue. This is just four of a house cleaning, not just, super beneficial to your spirit, your soul. How God and Guru want to come through and love you, hold you unite with you. So if you like speaking on this level, you're in the right place. If this level of heart-centered offering observes something uncomfortable inside of you, let it. Just let it. Let it be because that in which you're observing that's discomfort inside of you is something existing, no? At least you get to feel it. At least you get to touch in, tap into that true feeling. And that's a beautiful thing, right? In itself, it's you. It's your authentic voice. It's you. Isn't that what we're here for, is you? So let's just do the odd g'day name, jigad g'day name, sak g'day name, siddhi guru deva name. Hold your intention. Hold your intention there. Focus on your projection, your intention for this class today. And where you're at. And as I pull this card for Eba, if you would ever so kindly, since you were the first one on today, first come, first serve. Doesn't mean everyone else won't be served. You'll all be served. But for Eba, please... Let me know when you want me to start. I'm going to stop. I'm going to start now.
with this beautiful Akadenamé three times, Jugadgadenamé, Sakadenamé, Siddhigudidevé Namé. Adgadenamé, Jugadgadenamé, Sakadenamé, Siddhigudidevé Namé. Adgadenamé, Jugadgadenamé, Sakadenamé, Siddhigudidevé Namé. And Pariva will start far left and go right with my ring finger, my sun energy finger, and you let me know when to stop. Thank you. Well, Fariba and all others out there, we pulled the fertility card. Why get a G cup So why get a G key? That day. And there you have it. You have your card for this day, and this is the fertility card. And it's a very beautiful card because it is the birth of our divine feminine. It is the birth of what is going on in that beautiful world out there in which we're tempted to run from, but yet we have to stay focused and complete. She's got a huge, beautiful, big belly. She is the card of fertility. She's beautiful. Thank you, Fariba, for pulling her today for all of us. And we will read about fertility so we can devote our class to this fertility. This is a quick class. I mean, it's, it's, it's a rebirth today. Um, so fertility is Kuan Yin of the summer solstice. And you know how I'm fond of Kuan Yin and so are you. Mother goddess, mystic wise, summer solstice births to rise. Her body is of milk and honey, yum, sweet. The bees, O oh, fertile bunny. Dear, they bless this nature's ground. Her feet are large, yet never bound. The gentleness of the fertility medicine card brings a benevolence of bountiful blessings. Contemplate on your own womb. Perfect for rebirthing of creation. You are being asked to participate as the midwife of this birth. Choose to nourish your creation as you would a baby in gestation. Keep compassion and mercy close companions in this gift of fertility that is dynamically creating within you as possibilities of enchanted golden opportunities lie ahead. And sat nam and welcome to your fourth class of this house cleaning rebirthing today. We'll tune in with Om Namo, Gurudev Namo. As far as spiritual, spirituality is concerned, the defense mechanism of your body is very powerful. When your spirit is on the defense mechanism of your body, the radiant body, its light is on. When your spirit is off, the light is off, and you become vulnerable. The longing of the spirit, the longing of the mind, and the longing of the body are three hungers within you. They cannot go away. The body will need its nourishment, its enrichment. The mind will need its enrichment, its nourishment, and the soul needs enrichment and its nourishment. So as we tune in with Om Namo, Gurudev Namo, we bow, or any practice you like to tune in with. For this one we call in the divine beings, the great light above us, below us, and from side to side. That's your auric field, that's who you are, and let us tune in now with Om Namo, Gurudev Namo. Calling in the golden temple, the golden gate, the golden channel. The gurus who have stood before us, the mastery of this work. Thumbs into the sternum, rotate the fingertips up, 
Elbows come wide. Exhale, look over the tip of the nose. Chin up, chin in, drop shoulders down. Inhale, tune in. Om Guru Dev Namo. Swallow, navel in, up and under, Uddiyana Ban. Lifts you to Jalandha Ban. Squeeze Muladhara. Release, inhale. Hold, swallow. Dip the tongue, top of the palate. Opens 84 meridian points in the throat chakra. Exhale, navel in, up and under, Uddiyana Ban. Lifts you. Activate navel point to the throat, to the muladhara, perineum anus. Squeeze, release, inhale. Swallow again, fifth chakra, fifth year. Exhale, draw the navel. Tuck her up, scoop, all the way to the chin, left ear, left shoulder, right ear, right shoulder, chin up, cranial sacral, release, inhale, look left, throat chakra, look right, open your jaw, open your mouth, Come center, exhale, push it out, navel in, hollow core, no breath, pranayam, release, inhale, hold, open your mouth, exhale, offer your practice, Unite these nations, unite this force within our divine feminine that we can go deeper and let go, let God, let Guru, let Goddess, let the cosmos, everything in. Any practice you can bring to this awareness today, bring it. We need all your prayers. Thank you for showing up. Hold steady. Grip a beautiful crystal ball in front of you and hold steady chin in and breathe. And now move your tapas. Just move the fingers so we don't get arthritis. We can't move our energy. So tapas, earth, wind, fire, water, ether, Jupiter, index finger, middle finger, Saturn, ring finger, sun, pinky, mercury, thumb, id. Move them all like you're kneading the most divine. Smelling bread, <laughs> the yeast, the growing, awakening, feel. When you pretend to knead this bread, can you feel the moisture coming out of every part of it, this awakening in your brain, pituitary, pineal, just breathe. 
Look over the tip of the nose with the eyes one-tenth open and activate frontal lobe of the brain to remove the mind's fears, chatter, and abilities to speak your truth. Just move your hands. We're just stretching out the palms of your hands. You have a wrist meridian. You're working on your upper and lower arms, even just holding this steady. It's working your colon, your upper stomach lining, and your digestive tract. It's intentional, the focus over the dristi, over the third eye, over the tip of the nose. It's intentional to activate frontal lobe. Rebirthings work through the subconscious patterns of your past to allow you to be present. No past, no future, just presently here. So beautiful to see you back, dear Cindy. I'm so happy you're here. From all around the world, our divine feminine are activating right now together in community, dear beautiful sisters and brothers. Now tense up that body and shake, and shake everything that needs to be awakened inside of you. Don't judge it, just allow it to shake, shake, shake. Tense up those fingers and really just, just get it out, dang it. It's like that. See how dang it comes really quick when you start to shake? That's what we're asking you to do. Just shake it out, grip it, shake it mean it close your eyes and shake all that anger out whatever you don't like in your life whatever you won't like about tomorrow and whatever you want to get rid of get rid of it now get angry at anything you hate in your life figure out something and just shake it getting in and out of customs any kind of forms you're having to fill out to travel on, on that out okay come on shake that out shake that out we need your beautiful bountiful blissful self if you're having relationship problems the one that didn't call you back the one that didn't write the letter the husband that cheated on you, the man who sent you the bill, the father who didn't pay for the child support, whatever it is, the marriage that didn't work, the husband who's impotent, the wife who's frigid. Think about anything and shake this out. It does not serve you. Just sh get those hands like claws and just shake, yeah, 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 yeah. I want that jaw to shake, that face to shake that head to shake, shake this anger out. Something particularly American that we don't know about. We are so shaken that we can't shake ourselves. Wow, the whole hand and finger movement is changing the brain pattern. It's a science. Follow this meditation, doing thousands of years of known science, get it out. You can cry, you can weep, you can laugh, you can do anything. If you're laughing at me, laugh harder, because I don't mind. Anything you shake will shake up your opinions and your judgment. And we pull the Kuan Yin card of fertility. Can we shake you to shaking beyond the shake? That's what we want. Can you weep? Can you get to the saddest, the most negative, angriest thing in your life and attack it? Are you brave enough? Are you still sitting there and you're on your almighty altar saying, I am nothing wrong. I am nothing. There's nothing wrong with me. Well, I hate to tell you, something's going on in there. And all of us. Hey, we live in this world right now. We must shake it out. Shake it. Shake it till tomorrow. Shake it. 
just shake it. You're on the clock. If you've never been to rebirthing before, welcome home. This is the womb. This is the fertility. This is where it sits in your pelvic floor, all that anger. Get it out now so we can move on. You're working for yourself. It's not for me. I'm not asking you to do the impossible. Just make your hands like a bear claw and shake your body. If you don't believe in it, shake more. Beat it up. If you don't know why you're doing this, don't know and do it more. Just stay, stay with this program. 4,000 years old, this work, this science on the brain. The neurons in the brain. Shake it up. When I was making my juice this morning, the amongst all the greens, watch it slip in there. Yep. cleaning tool, the steel cleaning tool. You never thought I'd say that, right? Yeah. Stuck. Had to pour out all the greens. I wasn't going to drink the wire. <laughs> Barely could get it out. I asked myself, who's going to get this out for me? Who's going to do this for me? Who's going to pull this thing out? Is it going to break my blender? Is it going to break my smoothie? Is it going to... No, I'm going to do this. Pushed and I tugged. I took care of it. Not to hurt myself. And this anger. Get this thing out. Slowly, slowly, I ease that cleaning tool <laughs> out of my juicer. Came out, it released before class. I was so grateful I didn't have to go back to it after class. I wanted to let it all out and do it with grace. And give the juice to the Mother Earth. She needed it. So give it all to her right now. It's like steel. No one's going to save you. No one's going to do this for you. you got to get it out now. This is number four of house cleaning. You worked hard to be here. Come on. No, you're just going through it harder and harder. Attack the most painful thing in your life. There's lots of things we can't even share with a psychologist. We can't even share with a psychiatrist. Doesn't matter if you have to yell or scream or cry, go ahead, but get it out and attack it. Why was it so important to make that juice before a class to get that cleaning utensil stuck in my juicer? Why? Because it gave me a place in which there's subtle anger. Like, who's going to do this for me? Huh? Who's going to take that thing out of that machine? <laughs> you are. Let's go. Shake it. Shake it. Just shake it harder. Get all that frustration out when you just keep blaming that person for not being there to remove your anger. You get it out. That's great. Now place a hand on the heart. Right there, hands on the heart. Breathe. Don't go into another practice. Stay right here. Just stay with you. No tools right now. The tool's been shredded. It's in the garbage. We have a lot of garbage. Let's take it out. Yeah. Meditate. It's your heart. You don't need to go to somewhere. Sit with you right now. Feel that you're in the egg and the spermatozoa. Yeah, the rebirthing, the fertility, the big belly of the womb. Breathe. 
until you're both the egg and the spermatozoa. Mind comes, chatter comes, just breathe and feel just two egg spermatozoa. Feel that you are conceived right here, right now, like instantaneously. It's not an outward thing. Just feel you're conceived. Sometimes I am conceived. I feel I am conceived. I am conceived. I am conceived. I am conceived. With mind coming in, just say, I am conceived. I am conceived. I am conceived. Meditate, please, dear one. Meditate. Conceived. Feel you are conceived. Here and now. Heat. Water. Birth. I am conceived. Sit in absolute stillness when the body wants to fidget and move. Feel your conceived. Just hold your heart. Left hand, right hand over. Heart center. Heart center. Balance. Tall spine, chin in. Feel your conceived. Conceived in the womb, the womb, the universal womb, the bigger womb, feel you are conceived in the womb. Keep your eyes closed, go deep into that silence of the womb. The womb, which is a female, and you are conceived as the Kuan Yin. Oceans, the waters, our blood, feel you are conceived. Vastness of this universal womb will hold you. Hypnotize yourself. There's no better hypnosis than you doing this to the self. Hypnotize yourself to be conceived. It takes a moment, dear ones. You are conceived. Hypnotize yourself will carry you through these previous lives and voyages beyond you. Feel you are conceived. separation, division, any longer feel you are conceived. Universal, female, womb, divine, feminine, ancestors, grandmothers, great-grandmothers, womb. Breathe.
conception as it has been repeated, the conception as it has been repeated, conception as it has been repeated, repeated. Feel your heart center, feel your rib cage where your soul is at this time imprisoned and feel conceit. And breathe into that rib cage, that prison that locks your breath down, down. And you can't breathe. Breathe deeper and deeper and feel deeper and conceive. Breathe. Open those ribs just with your breath, not with go through this experience, feel your conceit, feel your soul is in the rib cage, and we'll take you to the yonder past to feel hypnotically the conception that has taken place before. It has no reference to reality. It's a personal, private knowledge of you sitting with Go deeper and deeper to hypnotize yourself, layer upon layer upon layer, and let us feel, dear ones, the protection, the therapy. You and your conception. Go deeper, meditate.
know your own story. Pass through as many spaces, beings, lands as you can. Keep this journey going. Through each emotional storm, Resistance will be less, and the deeper you will go in self hypnosis, the deeper you will go into observing the observer, let go, journey, journey. Touch the frontiers that are not reachable. Concentrate. the world like a skydiver through thousands of these crosswinds stand by tiny 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 light turn yourself into tiny 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 light little star tiniest of all. Let the pain go. Dissolve. Tiny, 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 tiniest, tiniest little star. The pain was a miss cake. You missed the take. Let the pain go, let the pain go, let it go, let it go. Give it to Creator, God, Mother. Let it go. Let it go now. Forgive. To give. Generator, organizer, delivery, go. Let it go. Please let the pain go. Please let the pain go. Give it to God. All things come from God. All things go to God. All things come from God. All things go to God. Let the pain go. Please let the Look outside, keep your hands on your heart and bring them up to your throat chakra, left hand around your throat, right hand around your throat, let the pain go, breathe right into your sacred throat chakra. Your mantra is your breath. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Concentrate and breathe. Concentrate and breathe. Feel your throat chakra opening up into your hands, which is your thyroid. Your thyroid. Breathe into your thyroid and your parathyroid and meditate on this healing with these healing hands that have just come from your heart. Use your tools. Where
is the time you ask them. Restore your destiny. Receive this sacred mantra. Guru Ramdas, Guru, as we chant. Guru, Guru, Wahe, Guru, feel it. Guru.
the energy of Sa, Ta, bring your hands down, left hand over the right tip of the thumb, seal this fertility in your navel, your womb, Sa, Ta, Na, Ma, Ra, Ma, Da, Sa, Sa, Se, So, Hum. Satanama go across your forehead. Ramadasa sase soham. Tis a May the long time sun shine upon you. Oh, Test us in our dreams to incite sudden wordless understandings that cross one frontier after another as you did today. Some dreams open what seems to be the book of wisdom. We wake feeling as though we may have received teachings from the ascended masters. Whatever happens when dreams arise more from the heart's mind than the mechanical's brains, a greater participation in the universal can often be noted. We arise feeling as though we have read a remarkable spiritual work. We awake ecstatic. And such 
A truth teller comes to visit us in our dreams. There is nowhere to hide. She is calling out all us miserable, unsuccessful controllers of our slippery fate. She tells us no old trick will protect us, that under surrender to the miracle of compassion can set us free. These are blessings. These are blessing dreams. Pull yourself to the side of your bed and sit quietly. Secure these teachings in the heart and don't be too rational. What is real? This breaking through of the boundary between the dream world and the waking reality, long acknowledged by spiritual adepts as actually a continuation of the same realm, expanded both Kuan Yin's frame of reference and the planes from which the cries of distress could be heard. She took us in her dreams to the other worlds to illuminate what we barely comprehend, how compassion is the active element of wisdom, the quality the sages and the pundits ejected from heaven's realm needed to cultivate. She was the soother of ghosts and the healer of displaced souls. Kuan Yin comes on the fluttering wings of REM dream uncovering to unveil the path that compassion recommends. In dream time, the presence in presence reveals itself. Other realities present themselves. In dream time, the presence in presence reveals itself. Other realities present themselves. Sometimes this momentary clarity of vision discloses how close we may be getting to being reborn just on the other side of our fear. So close. Don't let go. Sometimes her unpredictable compassion comes to us in our sleep to show us how much mercy it takes to live in this frightening world how the hindrances are vulnerable to reconditioning, how the tangle just beneath the surface is susceptible to courage and loving care, how deep investigation may unravel and spiritual experiences access the heart where our liberation awaits, waits. Sometimes compassion comes as a large jungle cat that initiates us as she does so many. If only we can stay awake after we wake up. Don't go to sleep. Sometimes the beasts that test us are not otherworldly, but remnants of our childhood night terrors. Projections from the familiar unknown whose big yellow eyes stare out at us from an unpenetrable thicket. Some of those dreams unite us with another world we have dared not consider. We have dared not consider. Wai Guruji Kalkhalsa. Wai Guruji Ki Tate. Please, dear ones, as you know, this thousand petal lotus takes time to open her petals, right? But you did it in this crown chakra today. You open these petals. Be polite with your eating. Eat lightly. Drink a lot of water. Add a pinch of salt for some iodine. And may the blessings of the stainless most sacred way serve you. It is my privilege to be here and honor these teachings. We will continue next Saturday. But for tonight and today, tomorrow morning, on a Sunday morning, you will rebirth. You will see your dreams. Take note. God bless you. Live a long time, Sarah Shalapati. All love surround you and the pure light within you. Guide your way on. I miss you all very much. Thank you so much for joining us. So beautiful to see you. Satnam, Satnam, Satnam. Why
Good to see you. Tell Carlos to Hawaii. Good to see you. Keep it. Blessings, dear ones. I'll post so you can.